let's have a look at what's stopping people get results. So this is what I've seen working with a bunch of companies um, and there's quite a lot of commonality to it. Again, I'll be direct on this. It's to do with being ineffective, old fashioned and confused. If salespeople are that, it's unlikely that they'll be achieving results. Now, oldie worldy, this is about being old fashioned. Yeah? Breaks down into being self-centered, too technical and using poor practice. Again, let's have a look at these. Self-centered is when the salesperson isn't customer focused. It's all about them. It's like me, 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 we, 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 I, 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 our product, our service. They talk about themselves way too much. I don't know, maybe you've sat in presentations where you're just looking at people going, well, this is all wonderful for you. I'm so happy for you, but you're not saying anything about me. And it doesn't work. And people get bored with it quicker than ever. I see people get too technical sometimes, and particularly engineers. And, you know, there's nothing, no slight on engineers, but they can get right down in the weeds with a whole bunch of, you know, how stuff actually works and get very, very kind of into the nitty gritty. Um, and sometimes that's not needed. Sometimes it is. Absolutely, it's the right thing to do. But sometimes their fascination with the technicalities isn't what's required by the customer and they get bored. Both of those first things, I see the passion, do the excitement, you know, that's good. We just need to channel it in the right direction. The one that I find really hard is, is people using poor practice, bad techniques, bygone era of selling. Yeah, some people, someone thought these sort of ways of working were a good idea once, but they're not. You know, I'm talking about the manipulative, pushy stuff. It doesn't work. Anything will push people away. You know, I heard someone the other day, and it, I've already got my go. They said that, oh, well, bullshit baffles brains. Like this was a clever thing to do, which is try to confuse a customer. <laughs> Customers are confused enough as it is. They don't need any more confusion. And doing that deliberately to them ain't clever. So, so we need to kind of quit that stuff. Been the oldie worldie by getting more modern. And the trick to this is to flip, follow, and focus. So by flip, what I mean is flipping your attention onto the world of the customer. Now, rather than talking about yourself, all these wonderful things that you can do, you talk about the customers first. I mean, it's, in some ways, it's such an easy thing to do, but some people find it so hard. And so their presentations are upside down. People don't care about where your office is, don't care how many years you've been in business, don't care about all those logos, all of, all that stuff that we see at the front end of a presentation, folk don't care. Their favorite subjects themselves. So if we can flip that, start talking about them, that will start to make a huge difference. Really big difference. And for me, it's kind of almost one of the easiest things to do, but it also seems to be one of the hardest things to do. People are fascinated in showing their logo slides. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Haven't we done well? Mm. Talk about me. Talk about me as the customer. And so following an approach that drives this sort of behavior makes sense. So think about how are we doing stuff to identify issues rather than trying to force a solution, rather than trying to push ourselves onto people. Yeah. How do we manage a conversation to make it about the customer? Follow that process, that structure. That, that's what I'll do in all my conversations. I'll make an offer later on and I'll show you exactly how that conversation is, bearing in mind we want to follow making it about you. Yeah, why wouldn't I? It's all stuff I trade, so I'll be transparent with it. Yeah. Customers aren't stupid, you know. They, they can tell if you're kind of like not listening but just waiting to talk. So have a way of operating that can make a difference. And then focus in on the things that actually work, that make a difference. Don't bother with the old school tricks, the closers, all that sort of stuff. Oh, it's nonsense. What works now is different. There have been shifts in the way we sell, quite a lot of shifts, and they're coming faster, the things which we need to be doing to be successful today. But we can make those shifts. I know we can. I've done them. I've worked with loads of people where we've just moved them into doing the stuff that's relevant and right for them, their industry, their customers. That's what we need to do.